Previously on Socks Talk Politics. My name is Sock Meralda. I have come to read your future. What is it? What do you see? What year is it? It's 2030. Is that a flying toaster? From Vienna, the city that will never be seen as futuristic by anyone, welcome to Socks Talk Politics. Hello and welcome back to Socks Talk Politics. How are we doing tonight? It's so good to... Oh no! Oh no 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 no! Oh no no no! She's back! She's back! The smoky lady is back! Brian, what are you doing under the table? Huh? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh nothing. Just checking something. Uh, and what about you? Uh, why are you all covered in smoke? Oh, I was. Just, you know, I, I had an appointment with a presidential advisor who smoked. Smoked what, exactly? Yes. <laughs> what? Hey, who is this advisor, Snoop Socky Sock? Her name is Alda Mersock. Alda Mersock, huh? Correct. And what exactly does Alda Mursock advise you on? Future policies? Oh, sure, future policies. And what sort of future policies did Alda Mursock tell you about? Oh, you know, like what to do for the environment and stuff. Save the future. Aha! I knew it! Sock Meralda! <laughs> no, I'm not Sock Meralda. Why would you think... This has nothing to do with Sock Meralda. Oh, phew. That's a relief, because she scares me. <laughs> but after seeing what cities in the future might look like, I started to wonder what the town of the future might look like. I did some research, and I found a little town in the north of Finland called E. Back in 2012, the people of E realized that climate change had an especially great impact on the town, as the Arctic is the area most affected by global warming. Collectively, citizens, institutions, and administrators took action. Children measure the consumption of water, heat, and electricity in schools and daycare centers and receive 50% of any savings they can generate. Instead of heating with costly and polluting oil, the town's public buildings converted to using renewable energy sources provided by the local bioenergy producer. Fast-track buses reduced the use of cars in rural areas. Citizens are invited to workshops to learn how to repair clothes and broken devices. All in all, E was able to cut carbon emissions by 60% and today is producing 10 times more energy than it is using, which has also led to lower taxes for everyone. Uh, how much less carbon emissions? 60%. Marvelous! But I'm sure your advisor, Alda Mursak, has already told you about measures like that. Yeah, something like that. Though I think she's onto something with the flying toasters. What? Wait a minute. Sock Meralda. Okay, we'd better wrap this up. We had a wonderful show tonight, and we'll see you next time on Socks Talk Politics. Until then, save the world and stay on your toes. Nancy, are you seriously taking advice from a fortune teller? <laughs> Future policies. <laughs>